Thanks for joining us in this devotional we call Loving Truth. We're looking at Psalm 3, and it is unique. It is one of the few psalms that gives the historical background to the writing of the psalm. And it simply says that David wrote this while he was fleeing from Absalom. That's his son. Uh, back in uh, 2 Samuel chapter 15 through 17, we read the story where Absalom wanted to become king. He was even trying to kill David. And as it says in verse 1, David says, Many are my foes, many rise up against me, many are saying of me, God will not deliver him. So it was not just his son, but many sided with his son, and it looked, looked like David was going to lose the throne. So he cries out to God, you're my shield, you're my glory, you're the one that lifts up my head. I cry out to you in prayer, and Lord, you will answer me from your holy hill. Now we pick it up in verse 5. David says, I lie down and sleep. Think of that, peaceful sleep. Uh, nighttime is a terrible time if you're a fugitive because you're afraid that if you give some moments of rest to your body, to your mind, your eyelids close in sleep is the very time that your pursuer will find you. And so there's a sense of anxiety. But David says, I lie down and sleep and I wake up again because you sustain me. Only God can sustain us. Whatever else we lean upon is going to be faulty. At some times it will fail. But God will sustain us when we trust him. He will support us. And so David says, I lie down and I wake up all of my life. Uh, nighttime, daytime, God is there. He says in verse 6, I will not fear, though tens of thousands assail me on every side. In other words, if even a substantial army is breathing down my neck, and there was a significant group looking for him, David says, no matter how bad it gets, I am going to be sustained by the Lord. So here's another prayer he offers. This is verse 7. Arise, Lord, and deliver me. And when you get to verse 8, he says, deliverance comes from the Lord. So that's why we pray. God is the only one who can hear our prayers and has the power to answer them. And he's the one who knows what's best. And our prayers should always be couched in not my will, but yours be done. David cries out for deliverance. But he goes on to take another step and say, no, Lord, not only deliver me, but strike all my enemies on the jaw. Break the teeth of the wicked. <laughs> now, this is what we call an imprecatory psalm. It's interesting that normally the first imprecatory psalm is Psalm 5. And we're told there are about 14 of them in the book of Psalms. But as we see in Psalm 3, Here's the beginning of this imprecatory psalm. It's a prayer for evil to come on someone. Now, this doesn't mean that this is how we need to be praying for people. In fact, in this day and age, we should be praying for God to deliver people by his grace and mercy and save them from punishment. But if they reject him, if they're truly wicked and will not trust him, in the end, judgment will come. And David is praying as a king who is battling for his throne and, and for his people. And so he is praying judgment upon physical enemies that are coming after him. But he says in verse 8, Lord, deliverance comes from you, and that's why I pray. Only God can sustain us. Only God can deliver us. And we need to be delivered not only from enemies that we might sense uh, physical enemies, but really our problem is spiritual enemies. We read in Ephesians chapter 6 that the enemies that we have are not flesh and blood. They're principalities and powers. They're the rulers of spiritual darkness, and we need to be delivered from those enemies. And we need to be delivered from the enemies of our own heart, the, the old nature, the flesh that seeks to subdue us, uh, to, that seeks to um, subdue us and control us and seeks to draw us away into sin. 
I love the poetry of Amy Carmichael. She once prayed, from all that dims thy calvary, O Lamb of God, deliver me. So sin will seduce us, and we need to resist. We need to be delivered, and only God can sustain us, and only God can deliver us. So we should pray, Lord, when I face trials of many kinds, and sometimes of my own making, may you be the one who steps in to deliver me, and may I rest in peace, because you are the one who protects, and you are the one who delivers. In Jesus' name, let's bow our heads and hearts. Father, our prayer is that you indeed will step in and take control of us, and so watch over us that we can sleep in peace. And Father, in our life, I pray that you will deliver us through times of trial and cause us to come out the other side stronger because of it. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.